We're soaring, flying. There's not a star in heaven that we can't reach. Uh, Jerry, that's friends from, uh, from law school, Dominic LeBlanc. I've known Dominic for over almost 20 years now, and I can truly speak to the fact that uh, he's passionate about politics, passionate about the process, and, and passionate about the political, the uh, Liberal Party of Canada. He's been a member uh, his whole life, and um, after law school, Dominic um, moved on from, uh, from New Brunswick Law School and went off to, uh, to Harvard to get his master's and uh, has uh, done many great things with his career since then. He's been a parliamentarian now for 10 years uh, and been elected four times in those 10, year, in those 10 years and uh, has been a parliamentary secretary to two ministers. He's worked with uh, several prime ministers, Prime Minister Martin, Prime Minister Cretchen, and in my eyes, I believe Dominic represents a lot of things and all the things this party needs to move forward, to grow, to change, to renew itself. So with that, I'm going to turn over the microphone to Dominic Leblanc and uh, let him introduce yourself to you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Steve. And thank you, all of you. Steve said that he thought that there might be 15 or 20 people that would come out tonight uh, and join us for a drink on this rainy Tuesday evening. Um, I'm very grateful that all of you came. Merci beaucoup uh, que vous êtes tous venus ici ce soir à court avis. Uh, pour moi, c'est très important et j'apprécie énormément ça. As Steve said, um, I'm running for the leadership of the Liberal Party of Canada. I want to be the next Prime Minister of Canada. Um, I think that our party is ready for change. I think that our party is at a critical point in the history not only of the party but of the country. Uh, if you look at the recent elections, as Steve said, I've been elected four times. Uh, it's actually eight years, Steve, not ten. That's how bad it is. I've been elected four times in less than eight years. Um, and uh, every time I've been elected, the size of our caucus has been diminishing, has been reduced. Uh, and if you look at the results of the last election, some very, very good candidates in this province were not elected. Um, in New Brunswick, the province I represent, we had six liberal seats, and we went down to three. Uh, if you look at results across rural Ontario, uh, it's very worrisome. The Liberal Party cannot be a national majority government again unless we reconcile ourselves with Francophone Quebecers, unless we reconcile ourselves with Western Canadians, unless we reconcile ourselves with rural Canadians, unless we reconcile ourselves with young people, unless we reconcile ourselves with some communities of new Canadians that have left our party. The Liberal Party has a very, very proud tradition of representing the broad centre in Canadian politics. I uh, was lucky enough after I finished law school to go and work for Mr. Chrétien. I spent three and a half years in the Prime Minister's office. Um, I was elected five years after that and served with Mr. Chrétien and Mr. Martin, two great leaders of our party. I worked very hard to help Mr. Dion when he became leader of our party and to try and elect a Dion Liberal government. But for a number of reasons, our party in recent years has lost its way. I think the time has come now to reconnect our party, to reconnect our party with people who want to vote Liberal but deserve to be given a positive reason to vote Liberal again. And I think if we're honest with ourselves, I think if we're honest with ourselves, we should do a diagnostic of how our party got to the very difficult position we're in and what we need to do to renew, to reform, and to change our party. Canadians want a national liberal party that speaks for people in Vancouver, in the other parts of this great province of British Columbia, but that's also relevant on the prairies, that's relevant in Francophone Quebec, and that, I think, is something I can bring to this leadership contest. I'm actually not a candidate from downtown Toronto. Yeah. I, was, we have to be careful that our party doesn't turn into a book club from downtown Toronto. I, I was elected, I was elected four times, I was elected four times in a francophone riding and in a rural riding. And I think I have some sense of the challenge that 
we have in rural communities, in the regions of the country. I mean, I represent one coast, and you live on the other coast. And the great magic of the Liberal Party is that it can bring together people from all walks of life, from all regions of the country, people who have been here for a long time, people who have arrived in Canada more recently, people who are part of the First Nations communities that were here before all of us arrived. And if the Liberal Party is going to be able to speak with one voice for all Canadians again, then I think we have a lot of work to do. I think a generational change of leadership is often what it takes to spring a party forward, to renew a party that, in many ways, as I said, has lost its focus and lost its way. If you look at great political movements um, in recent history, the British Labour Party, what Prime Minister Blair did when he refashioned New Labour, what President Clinton did in the United States 15 years ago with the Democratic Party. At one point, a party takes upon itself to renew itself, to re-democratize itself. The idea that Liberal Party policy or Liberal Party membership or Liberal Party nominations should actually be shouted down a speakerphone from Ottawa is over. If the Liberal Party wants to be relevant in communities like the one we're in tonight, our challenge is to earn the respect and the support of the voters one by one, street by street, town by town. And one of the things that I'm most proud of in my leadership campaign, which we're building every day and every hour as, as we go across the country, is that I've been able to bring together people who previously had worked for Mr. Martin, who previously had worked for Mr. Chrétien, I'm very proud of the fact that Mr. Martin's last Chief of Staff, Tim Murphy, is supporting me, as is Mr. Chrétien's last Chief of Staff, Percy Down. I'm very proud of the fact that the person who ran Ken Dryden's campaign last time is helping me, and the person who ran Scott Bryson's campaign is also helping me, and the person who ran Maurizio Bevilacqua's campaign is also helping me, and people who supported Mr. Kennedy, people like Steve Kakucha. But that's what rebuilding a riding association is about, rebuilding a fundraising mechanism, and rebuilding the ideas and the base and the energy of our party. So thank you for joining us tonight. J'espère avoir la chance de vous revoir à plusieurs reprises. Um, I'm always happy to come to Vancouver. My stepson, as I said to some of you earlier, has started uh, first year at UBC. I promised I'd take him out for dinner after this, um, after this meeting tonight. So any chance I have to come back to BC, my wife's always happy because she gets me to check and make sure he's still doing well. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. We're soaring, flying There's not a star in heaven that we can't reach If we're trying